advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30 day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm going to be doing a no run through review for Hulk, which is the newest hero for Marvel Champions. Now, uh, he just came out. He is the final hero to come out before the uh, Red Skull Big Box expansion. I believe that is the first Big Box expansion for Marvel Champions. So, let's get right down to it on what I think of Hulk. And he is okay. Like, he's not hes not my favorite hero to, to actually come out. And there's a couple reasons why. And it's not that he's not exactly like his his character like he's he's the hulk so there's not much to him he basically has uh he's he's big he has a lot of health and he hits hard and boy does he hit hard so for uh all intents and purposes how i've ranked and rated all the heroes for marvel champions is i have them go up against wrecking crew and uh the reason i do that is because they are going to have i believe the most variety when testing on a character like in terms of you know card draw thwarting and and damage and also damage resistance and how they how uh one hero can handle for the the enemies now hulk had no problem dealing with them like at all in fact he might have been the quickest hero of all the ones I tested to actually deal with the Wrecking Crew, which, you know, makes sense. It's the Hulk. He can do a lot and a lot of damage. Um, but why I say he's all right is because he is so one note. He deals so much damage and doesn't really have to put in a lot of effort. For example, Captain Marvel can do a bunch of damage as well, but you have to have a bunch of cards to actually make that work. For Hulk, you only need two, and those cards are these two, right here. So he has one thing in his in his uh, deck, actually, and there is a pretty decent way that they balanced him, and I thought that was interesting. So, first of all, uh, actually, before I get into the cards, let's talk about the actual character. So you start off as Bruce Banner, of course. And Bruce Banner, he has a recovery of four. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good, considering that the Hulk starts with 18 health. He is the hero with the most health that has come out so far. Uh, second most would probably be She-Hulk, and she has 15, so he has three more than She-Hulk. Anyway, so he has a four recovery, and his ability is okay. Experimental research, you draw a card, and then you discard a card from your hand. The way that they've balanced um, the Hulk out, I think, is that he doesn't have a whole lot of cards and he very rarely has any type of card draw so but there's an interesting aspect to that so that's bruce banner but we're not here to talk about bruce banner we're here to talk about the hulk who has zero thwart three attack and three defense which is really good you might be thinking oh zero thwart well that's kind of a problem well you would think so except that there are cards in his deck that let him thwart pretty well and he does so much damage that you don't really have to worry worry about thwarting. And he has so much health that you don't really have to go to Bruce Banner. And I'll explain in a sec. But his... The Hulk doesn't really have an ability. His He has an anti-ability, meaning that at the end of your turn, you discard your hand. So you can't save cards to combo with other cards so you basically have to if you want to set up any type of combo you have to go to bruce banner which is pretty cool i think um but when you're playing as the hulk you are going with what is in your hand and most likely you're only going to be doing one one thing and i'll explain why because he only has a hand size of four as the hulk but when it comes to how much damage that he can do this is essentially the combo that you want to try and get like uh, Captain Marvel, um, he also has a card that gives him a bunch of resources, limitless strength, uh, and you can only spend this while you're in hero form. And pretty much the reason you want to use this card is because of this card, Hulk Smash. Hulk Smash basically when you use a basic attack you get plus 10 to that attack. So you tap Hulk for 3 attack, you play this 1-2 combo, and you have a hand of 4, so if you're lucky, you might even get 
I mean, if you're really lucky, you could get uh, two of these because uh, there is two Limitless Strengths and two Hulk Smashes for a total of 26 damage. Now, that's just 13 damage right off the bat. You, you just, okay, well, that's that. Um, and then, and then there are other things in here that are pretty good. One is, I didn't actually pull it out because I didn't think I would need it. Um, is going to be right there called Unstoppable Force. So this is the big thing. This is the big combo for Hulk is the, the Limitless Strength and then the Hulk Smash for, for 13 damage. But you might get really lucky and have a Genius or a Strength or whatever. Um, oh, and for the record, if you paid for this card using only Fists, which are a lot of his cards, as you can guess, Hulk's uh, pair-up card is Aggression. So, uh, so yeah, then it gains Overkill, which is insane. Anyway, this attack right here can drop two of the Wrecking Crew in, in one attack. Like, if this is your opening hand, the four people that you're fighting in Wrecking Crew, you're really now down to three in, in, in turn one, if you're lucky with that combo. But, so that's what you want to go for. But, you can get Unstoppable Force, and let's say you have Genius or Strength or uh, Energy to pay for this card, which allows you to Ready Hulk. Now, if you pay this using only Fist resources, you get to draw a card, and anytime you can get any type of card draw while in Hulk form, that's pretty good. He's actually the first hero I've played pro in recent memory that I actually brought out the Avengers Mansion card because that let me draw, and having five cards is a lot better than having four. But yeah, Unstoppable Force allows you to ready him, and then you can attack again for a total of 16 damage in, in one turn. And if you pay it using a Strength, then that gives you a uh, gives you a card. That's his big one. Now, he has a few upgrades. He doesn't have a whole lot of upgrades, because why do you need them whenever you're the Hulk, dealing 13 damage in one attack? He has Immovable Object, gives him four hit points, which basically now means he starts out at 22 hit points, and he gains Retaliate, which is insane. The fact that a hero can have 22 hit points. When I got this out the first time I played this Hulk, I I don't think I ever really switched to him, or uh, switched away from him, because I didn't have to worry about, okay, they were attacking me, great, all right, I can take the hit. So that's, that's insane as uh, Immovable Object. And then also, Boundless Rage, which gives him plus one attack. So uh, now this one is a little bit more balanced than the immovable object. Uh, the Boundless Rage gives him plus one attack. You can only have it while you're in Hulk form, of course. Uh, and as soon as you swap back to Bruce Banner, then um, then this goes away. But other than that, now that gives him four, four base attack. And three defense is not nothing. So then you have things like Crushing Blow, which you can combo with Boundless Rage, because now he has four attack, Crushing Blow allows you to just deal your damage, your attack damage, without having to actually exhaust him, So, but you can only use that by spending strength resources, which is not bad considering that, I mean, most of the cards you're going to have playing are strength resources, uh, so you have to do that, and there's actually a card in the deck um, that is called... What is it? Martial Prowess, which gives you a strength resource uh, to use for an attack. So there, you can just tap that and get a free resource to pay for Crushing Blow, which now would potentially do four damage. So if this was your combo, you could deal four damage and then deal play these two. So this is these are the four cards that you could have in your hand, or or even have these as upgrades already. Uh, Martial Prowess already out. You tap that to play Crushing Blow. You already have Boundless Rage. So then you deal four damage. Then you attack for another four damage. Play Hulk Smash. So for 14 damage, so you've done 18 damage. Um, and if you actually uh, started out as Bruce Banner, you'd have five cards. And then you could have a Genius or a Strength. Let's say you have a Strength card in your hand. You can play that for Unstoppable Force to Ready Hulk, and then attack again, so that's 18 damage, plus another force, so you're doing 22 damage for ver with very little cards. Now, of course, that's the perfect uh, system, and you already have um, some cards out by that, 
but like I said, 22 damage, that's a lot, that's a shit ton of damage. Um, and I remember in my other reviews with She-Hulk, with Captain Marvel, uh, Doctor Strange, to do any type of that high-end damage, which everyone can at least get somewhat close to, you have to be, you have to play card after card after card and to get somewhere near there. Here, it's just like, okay, I already have two cards out, this is my hand, boom, 20, 22 damage. It's insane. It's insane. And you might be thinking, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Well, it would be if it was if, if it was if it was any fun. Like that amount of damage takes away any type of stress from any any opponent. Now, once again, I've only tested him against Wrecking Crew, so that could be radically different depending on who you're up against, but I found Wrecking Crew to be, while not the best villains to go up against, they're the more they're the most versatile ones. Um So you might be thinking, okay, well what about someone who who deals with a lot of threat and forwarding and scheming and all that. It's like, all right, that is his one weakness. He actually does have a few weaknesses, though. One, if you don't get the perfect hand, then uh, his ability kind of in Hulk form ends up screwing you over. Two, these are the cards that you want. And if you noticed, a lot of his actual damaging cards or upgrade cards cost three. And having a hand of four basically means that to do a Hulk smash, if you don't have the, the limitless uh, strength or any of the other uh, cheat cards, then that means you're only doing essentially one thing a turn. You're, you're wiping three cards to do a Hulk smash. You're wiping three cards to get a movable object out. So, uh, so everything that I said prior to that is perfect hand, you know, prior setup and things like that. But, so that is the balance to him. And the counter is that, I mean, you're essentially, as Hulk, always going to be using your hand. Like, I very rarely ever had a card left over, and sometimes it could have been a card that was like, oh, I, had, I drew an energy, and I don't need it, so I would end up getting rid of it. So then you're wondering, okay, the zero thwart. He can't actively thwart someone's scheme. And that's true. But he does have suborbital leap, which does that. As a hero, you can thwart, you remove three threat, uh and from a scheme or if you pay for this using strength resources you get rid of five so the limitless strength pairs well with his big thwart ability or his big attack so uh, and removing five threat is not nothing now the thing is that's essentially his only way of getting rid of threat now there are a few cards that aren't his that do that get, that get rid of some but other than that, this is pretty much his, his big one, is the suborbital leap. And then last, you might be thinking, okay, well, he only does one dam like a lot of damage to one person, and that's pretty much true. Like you're gonna ha you're gonna be very laser focused on one guy. Well, normally against Wrecking Crew, there are four people, but normally you're fighting against one guy, Ultron, Claw, or Rhino, and that's gonna be okay, well, I'm going to attack Rhino, or I'm going to attack them and do 26 damage and completely obliterate him. Um, but if there are a bunch of minions out, well, then he does have Thunderclap, which, once again, costs three, so you would have to either wipe all three cards or play the, um, you know, play the Limitless Strength card to be able to cheat it and hopefully get another combo going. Uh, but that one is you choose up to three different enemies and you deal three damage to each of them. Very basic card, and... Uh, and, I mean, it just does. That's his kind of AoE attack. But, I mean, other than that, like, he doesn't have a whole lot going going for him. Like, getting the card that, uh, getting Martial Prowess out, that gives him a free resource. He does have very few Alter Ego um, upgrades. He has very few upgrades in general. Uh, the only one that I, uh, that, that I know of is the Banner's Laboratory, which gives Banner plus two recovery. So now Bruce Banner has a six recovery on a person who has 18 health. Uh, so he's almost not dying. Uh, and you can tap that, or sorry, exhaust that, to get a science resource. So there's, he doesn't, Hulk doesn't generate a lot of resources. He barely generates any type of card draw. He does have some uh, allies, but they cost so much, you don't ever really want to bring them out. 
like Sentry, for example, he costs a lot. Um, there's Brawn. Um, so Brawn comes in, he helps with with uh, with Threat Removal, Dropkick. These were a few interesting ones that I actually kind of liked. Uh, there's a card called Dropkick and a card called Toe the Toe, which are just the regular aggression cards. Uh, but uh, Dropkick as a hero action, you deal four damage to an enemy. If you pay for this only using strength resources, you get to draw a card. That's not bad. And Toe the to Toe is you choose an enemy, the enemy attacks you. Okay, well, you have a lot of health, so let's do that. And then you get to just deal five damage back to that enemy. And five damage is is a lot, I feel like. So, of course, those are only hero actions. But yeah, other than that, he has, um, yeah, to the rescue. That's, that's the one that just removes two threat. Um, once again, if you're Hulk, you're not really doing that. Um, and then the other ally is, of course, She-Hulk. And she does more damage uh, if she, the more damage she has. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much Hulk in a nutshell. I mean, in terms of, like, where, like, where I'm feeling he's at, he's not unfun, but I felt like I didn't have to think as hard. I didn't have to combo as much, which, uh, if you watched our, um, interesting topic, ranking all the heroes prior to Doctor Strange and, and Hulk, um, you would know that the heroes that, that let me combo and do a bunch of stuff are my favorite, um, and he doesn't really let me do that. Like, yeah, I can combo with two cards and do a bunch of damage, um, which might be right up your alley. If you like those, boom, like, let's just, let's just deal as much damage as possible and kill them as quickly as we can, then this is gonna be right, like, right up your alley. Hulk does that in spades. Um, but I think also at the same time, for him to come out after Doctor Strange, uh, who had his own, like, uh, evocation deck, and knowing what they're doing with Ant-Man and Wasp, and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, he feels like he should have came in the base game, um, because of just how one note and, and basic he is. So, that's my thoughts on Hulk. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give him a 6, honestly. Um, like, for, for everything that I just said, he's, he is slightly above average. I didn't not like him, but I definitely like him better than some of the ones that are lower on, uh, on my list, but not, not, not by much. So, and, and it's not really my favorite hero anyway. I, I like Bruce Banner more as, as the alter ego more than the actual Hulk. Um, granted, now if this was like World War Hulk, uh, or Smart Hulk, that would have been an interesting, interesting thing. But that's just my, my thoughts, my preference. Um, let me know what you think of Hulk in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.